Okay, last year when I walked into a trailer with an office, I said, oh my gosh, this is gonna be our next rig. And I was totally kidding, but somehow we ended up with it anyway. I'm kind of not gonna say that about this one, but this is the second rig that we have seen uh, in recent years that has a dedicated office, which is what we originally lo went looking for a year or so ago and just couldn't find. And that wasn't just an office that was sort of haphazardly built into an already designed floor plan that really wasn't an office. But this Fleetwood Class A rethought their floor plan and actually put a dedicated office in. So let's go in and check it out. All right, first off, how luxurious is this just to begin with? I mean, the, the white coloring is always something I look for because it just makes it feel so much more open and homey and so much more space. So with the slides, with everything here, you just have a really nice look and feel to begin with. But that's not really what we're here to talk about. So let's keep going. So, and keep going and, and keep, keep going, going and keep going and keep going because there's a lot here and there's a lot we could talk about. But we, once we get all the way through the thing and all the way through the bedroom, you now have an office. Yes, you're in the closet, but you can close. They may have it locked, but anyways, you can close the door so you have some privacy. So if you're on Zoom calls, but you've got this nice big window out here. You do have a TV that I would hope maybe you could hook up your computer to so you'd have a second monitor. So, you know, some nice different sets of outlets here with you know, plugs, USBs, um, nice big cabinets for files and whatnot. Uh, and then the other half of the space is your closet, which is clearly a huge closet. So similar to how we really like the corner office in the Airstream, you now have a corner office in a Class A. With a window to stare at other people who are retired. <laughs> yes, I have found that that is one downside to my corner office in the Airstream is that I get to stare out at the neighbors every day who are just out puttering around, doing their thing, playing shuffleboard and, and me daydreaming about that. Uh, but at least that window moves and it is not the same window I stare out. I mean, it is the same window I stare out of, but not the same office day in and day out that it used to be. So your window does move. <laughs> Okay, so I sort of joked that the office is like way in the back, but that really is a selling point uh, because even as we have found in the Airstream, at 30 feet, you're still sort of right there. The kitchen is right next to the office and only thing closing me off is a curtain. And our bathroom is right next to the office. So in here, having the office all the way through the bedroom at the very back means you've got two ways to close yourself off. You've got the, the door that I already showed you, Plus you can close the main bedroom door here. That way your spouse, your kids, your guests, whoever else happens to be hanging out in the trailer can be up here in this general living space, using the restroom, cooking dinner, watching TV, playing games, hanging out. And you're not gonna get disturbed because you are so far at the back uh, that you're having your own privacy. So I will have to say that the layout in this makes a lot of sense for how it was designed. And I think they, you know, kudos uh, to Fleetwood for coming up with this option.